Hey guys, it is a Thursday, April 11th right now, and it's actually 9.45 p.m. at night. I don't think I've ever really started any sort of vlog this late at night, but we're about to do something really fun, I guess, for me and entertaining. So I figured I would vlog the experience with you guys to kind of like document our little adventure today. At 9.45 at night, tonight, Peter is going to attempt to learn how to ride a bike. I'm not even joking guys so we're going to Amsterdam next week and the city is full of bikes and that's mostly what everybody's mode of transportation is gonna be like and Peter doesn't actually know how to ride a, a bike properly I don't think you've never really ridden a bike before eh? I do at the gym that's not the same he doesn't know how to balance on a bike on a road so leading up to Amsterdam I feel like we should have done this way earlier we're attempting to teach Peter how to ride a bike and I'm gonna document the process <laughs> Just to add, mainly for memories purposes, but to share with you guys the experience. So I hope you guys enjoy and come along with us for the ride. So we've left our place and now we're at the Pixie Bikes. So we borrowed Richard's little uh, Pixie Bike membership to get one of these bikes. Oh, there you go. First things first, let's make sure it's the right height for you. So stand, sit on that thing. I think you're, yeah, it's a little too low. You should be on your tippy toes when you're sitting on it comfortably. So get off. Okay, try sitting on it again. Make sure it's the right height for you. How's that? Are you on your tippy toes? Yeah, that's a lot better now. Let's walk it away from the street first. Okay. These are your handlebars to break. Uh-huh. If you want to break, just pull on them. Uh-huh. Just pull them both at the same time if you can. excuse to not bike. Well, duh. <laughs> there you go. You're getting it. You're getting it. You can do it. Oh, getting better. Good evening, guys. It is Saturday, April 13th. We are attempting bike ride number dos to see if we can make some more progress for Peter before we hit no. up Amsterdam. No. What do you mean, no? No. I'm sure you can get the hang no, of it before I'm we get there. I'm just gonna walk everywhere. You can't. Some of the places are like an hour walk away. Or you get a skateboard. Or are you gonna find a skateboard? I don't know. I hope that exists. I can skateboard. Hey, maybe we can get a tricycle for you. An adult tricycle? Sure. You down for that? Sure. So we're gonna head out right now to go grab another bike for Peter to test. And hopefully he can get the hang of it today. Otherwise, we'll have to try again tomorrow. Picking up our next bike. Bike sesh part two. Uh, why are you walking it, sir? You're supposed to be riding it. Okay, put the phone away. Let's get biking. 26 minutes. You timed it? Yeah. Okay. Remember, pedal to get the bike moving and then balance yourself as it already has motion forward. Is that one better? Ooh. <laughs> Don't hit me. I can't. You're in the way. You just have to keep pushing. Pedal, pedal, pedal. You can do it, put your back into it. better today than you did yesterday I don't though. Care. So I think you're like small improvements. Get me a skateboard. Uh-uh. No skateboards. Yeah, I can all in We're gonna definitely manage to get you biking before we go to Amsterdam. Don't worry. Or skateboarding. No, biking. Yeah. We'll try again tomorrow guys. Good evening guys. It is Monday, April 15th right now and we are on I would say episode three of Peter Learns to Bike. <laughs> We're taking Kobe out for a walk at the same time, this time too, so he can go outside and roam and we can knock off two birds with one stone. Hopefully I can keep him under control while Peter's biking. What are you doing? Two birds. 
Okay. So hopefully I can keep him under control while Peter's biking because Kobe does have a tendency of lunging after bikes, but maybe this will be a good way to also control Kobe and like teach him how to be around bikers. So also two birds with one stone. Or is it even three birds with one stone? Maybe I'll try to attack the bike. I hope not for our sake. Then what do I do? Drop and run. What? I'm gonna <laughs> drop the bike on him. That's mean. So he doesn't attack you. We're gonna head out and try to go biking again. We'll let you know how it goes. He's so scared already. I don't know if he's scared or he's into it. <laughs> First thing you do is hit a cone. <laughs> Ooh! Ooh! Oh, that was close. You're doing progress. Making progress, sorry. Kobe, how do you feel about your papa making progress with the bike? Huh? Don't hit the cars, please. <laughs> he got so shook. <laughs> Look at him. You okay, papa? I feel like you're already doing a little bit better today. Feeling a little better today or no? No. No? No. We're slowly getting there. No. That's it for today's biking session. I also want to note we're in full on winter gear when it's like the middle of April right now. So. I'm so sweaty. As if I'm teaching you how to bike in winter time. I'm how so you? sweaty under this. That's so gross because I'm like frigid. My hands are freezing. And My shirt is soaked. Her shoes. I don't shower. Ew. No. Disgusting. Not about that life. Okay, we'll see you guys tomorrow when Peter tries to bike again. Hey guys, it is Wednesday, April 16th, and we are on our next day of Peter Learns to Bike. We're currently doing it during daylight hours today so that we can capture a little bit more for you guys. Also, taking Kobe out for another walk because we found that it worked out really well for us yesterday. So, we'll see you in a sec once Peter grabs the bike. All right, Lego bike part four? Is this part, is this part four, eh? I think so. Holy crap, how tall was the person who rode that bike last? I don't know, like six, eight. Jeez. Nice! You steered away from the construction cones and everything. <laughs> Babe! I'm so happy! <laughs> That's like the longest so far. Good job! How are you feeling? That was very successful. I'm on top of the world. <laughs> that was actually really good. I'm so proud. Top of the world. Good job. Top of the world. Okay, let's try again. We gotta get you to go all the way around the block. What? Around the block? Babe, if we're gonna be biking for 30 minutes in Amsterdam, you're gonna have what? to be able to bike the whole block. I wasn't part of the deal. Keep going, you're doing a lot better now. Let's go this way, have to depart, come on. You think this is a tight sidewalk? Yeah. Just wait. I also want you to practice maybe biking on grass too. Why? Just to get used to what, what it feels like grass? to bike on bumpy stuff. <laughs> Winner, Gagnon. High five. <laughs> Good job, I'm so proud of you. Four days and now you learn how to bike. Ready for Amsterdam? Okay. Think you can make it under big bad mean roads in Amsterdam? Nope. Can you try practicing on the on the on the grass over there? I die though. Because you're gonna have to you have to bike on you have to bike on cobblestones when we go to Amsterdam. You think this isn't even wait till you hit cobblestones? Yeah. Let's just try it. Just bike to the grass. <laughs> Does it feel weird? Say so it's nasty? Yeah, it's kind of gross. 
Hello friends, it is Wednesday, April 17th, and Peter is on bike sash number, what is this, four, five? Four or five, I don't know which one. You guys can probably count by now, but we're heading off for a very final bike ride training session with Peter to ensure that he still remembers how to bike before we head out for Amsterdam tomorrow morning. He got the hang of it, as you guys saw in the vlog yesterday. Pretty good, it was really, really good. So we're gonna try again one more time, just to make sure he really like perfects it and he can turn and bike quickly and then we'll be prepped for Amsterdam where we're biking like every goddamn single day. Yeah. Some of the good ones are newer. Today we have friends joining us. This is Rosa Lynn. She's official Kobe godmother, dog <laughs> godmother. Hi Kobes! And also Richard T. Wrong. <laughs> Yo, follow me. God. Richard T. Wong. Don't follow him. Link below. <laughs> Here. It is actually thank you to Richard that we have access to these bikes. We're stealing his bike car, his bike share pass. So Peter's about to show us his biking skills. You ready? Wow! wow. Oh wow! Oh. <laughs> Came and took a bike yesterday and the seat was this high. I was like, excuse me, this is up to the middle of your back. How tall is this person? Seven feet? Wow! <laughs> Yo, gear up, gear up! <laughs> there he goes again. Mission success in terms of your biking. The lighting in this vlog is going to be absolutely terrible though because we've done the entire vlog via nighttime and every single time it's been this like nasty yellowy orange lighting around us. But you guys will see in my upcoming Amsterdam vlogs Peter's success at biking. So we'll see if it translates over to the Netherlands. Nope. See you then guys. Skateboarding. Bye. Bye.